subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and friends welcome to our youtube channel sir abdul sattar khan 12th english preliminary examination solved exam paper question answer hsc state board maharashtra ka paper hai प्रिलिम के लिए आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं सेक्शन फर्स्ट है प्रोज रीडिंग फॉर कॉम्प्रहेंशन लैंग्वेज स्टडी समरी माइंड मैपिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए रीड द एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड कंप्लीट द एक्टिविटीज़ गिवन बिलो ट्वेल्व मार्क्स के लिए है पहले इस एक्सट्रैक्ट को पढ़ेंगे समझेंगे और उसके बाद इसकी एक्टिविटीज़ करेंगे ये टेक्स्चुअल पैसेज है टेक्स्ट बुक में का पैसेज दिया गया है इट वॉज मोर देन एन आवर एंड आई वॉज स्टिल देर सर्चिंग फॉर अ सूटेबल ट्री टू क्लाइम एंड गेट सिक्योर्ड Turn back to the trail you left. My mind was telling me, but there were no signs of the trail. I had no other way to climb the hillock before me. There were more hillocks and some more around the one I was standing. Near my feet were the dried up droppings of sloth bear. The sloth bear of Umbarzara must be out in open sniffing for food. I cautioned myself thinking of averting all sorts of eventuality I made a move I ran down the hillock that I had climbed up at a frantic speed the west was to my right hand side now the evening breeze flew through my wet curled hair my stomach was aching I kept walking in hope After around 50 steps I found a bright red soil trail I found my silver lining on this trail there were marks of bicycle wheels on this trail that was a big consolation for me there must be a village nearby I reassured myself more questions resurfaced how far is the village and where in which direction I climbed one more hillock and tried to locate signs of human civilization my legs were trembling as i reached the top of the hill i jumped with joy i heard the sounds of people talking in the loud speaker in a jiffy i ran down the hill towards the sound with full vigor i stumbled and fell down saw droppings of blue bulls nearby struggled stood up and decided which direction to move on the signs of civilization were visible The tiny sleepy village of Pitezari was visible through the green woods the lantern of Rajiram Bhalavi's farm the loud speaker installed for Keshav Bhalavi's marriage all were in clear sight turn left to spot the village like and familiar hillock sui hoda ki the dog barked to welcome me to the village the first thing i did was to take a bath the shaking of limbs had loosened a bit the stomach ache started again ate to the full and then slumped down to the cot laying awake looking at the star studded sky i spoke to myself there still exists a jungle where we can get lost isn't this our good luck a1 global understanding activity 2 marks complete the given web signs of the vicinity of the village A2 complex factual activity 2 marks write four sentences that show that the writer was frightened A3 inference interpretation analysis 2 marks explain what is called silver lining of the trail by the writer and why A4 personal response 2 marks describe how you relax at the end of a tiring day A5 language study do as directed 2 marks when i found a bright red soil trail it right beginning with a second i had no other way to climb the hillock before me rewrite as an affirmative sentence a6 vocabulary choose the correct phrase expressions from these given in the brackets and fill in the blanks time and again to one's heart's content frantic speed in a jiffy first all their educational problems were sorted out dash because of the funds given by an ngo second raj ran at a dash to catch the train answer sec is question number 1 ke a ke answer sec a1 signs of the vicinity of the village the lantern of a farm 
marks of a bicycle wheel, droppings of blue bulls, the sounds of people talking in a loud speaker. A2 ke answers hai, the evening breeze flew through my wet curled hair, two my stomach was aching, third my legs were trembling, fourth the shaking of limbs had lessened a bit. A3 the writer had lost his way in the jungle and was desperate to find a village and civilization. Then he found a bright red soil trail with the marks of a bicycle wheel on it. These marks show, showed that there was a village nearby. To the frightened and desperate writer, this was like a silver lining. A4 at the end of the tiring, at the end of a tiring day, I pick up a nice book or watch a good film on TV or Netflix. This relaxes me completely. If I go to sleep without this preparation, I am too tired and do not get good sleep. But if I spend half an hour or so unwinding, I really feel relaxed and sleepy. A5. This first hai, a bright red soil trail was found by me. Second, this was the only way I had to climb the hillock before me. A6 ka answer hai, first hai, all their educational problems were sorted out in a jiffy because of the funds given by an NGO. Second, Raj ran at a frantic speed to catch the train. <coughs> Question number one ka B hai, language study 4 marks. B1 do as directed transformation of sentences. First, revenue was obtained through advertising, add a question tag. Second, how impossible it is, rewrite as an assertive sentence. Third, I also solicit contributions from children, rewrite using the infinitive of the underlined word. B2, spot the error, errors in the given sentence and rewrite the correct sentence. We should not use plastic bags as they are non-biodegradable. Question number one ke B ke answers hai. B1 first hai. Revenue was obtained through advertising. Wasn't it? Second, it is really impossible. Third, I also asked children to contribute. B2, we should not use plastic bags as they are non-biodegradable. Question number two ka A hai. Read the extract and complete the activities given below. 12 marks. A non-textual passage hai. Oil is one of the world's major source of energy. We depend on it as fuel for heating, transport and generation of power. For centuries, animal and vegetable oils have been used for cooking and as a source of artificial light. But it is a mineral oil which meets most of the world's needs today. Crude mineral oil comes out of the earth as a thick brown or black liquid with a strong smell. It is a complex mixture of many different substances, each with its own individual qualities. Most of them are combination of hydrogen and carbon in varying proportions. Such hydrocarbons are also found in other forms such as bitumen, asphalt and natural gas. Mineral oil originates from the carcasses of tiny animals and from plants that live in the sea. Over millions of years, these dead creatures form large deposits under the seabed and ocean currents cover them with a blanket of sand and silt. As this material hardens, it becomes sedimentary rock and effectively shuts out the oxygen. So preventing the complete decomposition of the marine deposits underneath, the layers of sedimentary rock become thicker and heavier. Their pressure produces heat which transforms the tinny carcasses into crude oil in a process that is still going on today. The earth's crust is split into a few huge continental plates which move continuously rather like rafts on a sluggish tide. Geologists call this movement as continental drift. A1 choose two sentences that describe the theme of the extract. Two marks. First, the formation of continental plates. Second, the use of different types of oil. Third, the formation of crude mineral oil. Fourth, the movement of the continental drift. A2 complete the following. 
फर्स्ट है क्रूड मिनरल ऑयल कम्स आउट ऑफ द अर्थ एज अ डैश सेकेंड क्रूड मिनरल ऑयल ओरिजिनेट्स फ्राम डैश ए थ्री डिस्क्राइब द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट ए फोर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू हाउ कैन वी स्टॉप द एक्सेस यूज ऑफ एनर्जी टू मार्क्स ए फाइव डू एज डायरेक्टेड ऑयल इज वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स मेजर सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी री राइट इट एज अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस विदाउट चेंजिंग इट्स मीनिंग सेकेंड एज दिस मटेरियल हार्ड आंस इट बिकम सेडिमेंट्री रॉक मेक इट अ कंपाउंड सेंटेंस ए सिक्स Give the antonyms of artificial, lighter. Give the synonyms of slow, dead bodies. Question number two, A के answers है. A one है sentences that describe theme of the extract are the uses of different types of soil. Third, the formation of crude mineral oil. A two इसका आंसर है क्रूड मिनरल ऑयल कम्स आउट ऑफ द अर्थ एज अ थिक ब्राउन और ब्लैक लिक्विड विद अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्मेल सेकेंड क्रूड मिनरल ऑयल ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द कैरकैसेस ऑफ टीनी एनिमल्स एंड फ्रॉम प्लांट्स डेट लिव इन द सी ए थ्री द अर्थ क्रस्ट इज स्प्लिट इन टू अ फ्यू ह्यूज कॉन्टिनेंटल प्लेट्स दीज मूव कॉन्टीन्यूसली लाइक राफ्ट ऑन अ स्लगिश टाइड दिस मूवमेंट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट ए फोर We can stop the excess use of the energy by using public transport instead of private vehicles and by car pooling. We should also grow more trees so that there is lesser consumption of energy for air conditioning. We should cut down on the excessive use of the machines. A five ka answer hai one hai oil is not one of the world's minor sources of energy. Second. This material hardens and becomes sedimentary rock. A six ka answer hai first hai artificial, natural, lighter, heavier. Second ka answer hai slow, sluggish, dead bodies, carcasses. Question number two ka B hai summary writing three marks. Prepare a summary of the extract given in question number two A. Give give it a suitable title. You may use the following points. Points: Oil as a source of energy or dependence. Types of oil: Mineral oil. Origin of crude oil. Formation of crude oil. Forming of sedimentary rocks. Continental drift. Question number two B. Ka answer is: Mineral oil or its formation and uses. Human beings are heavily dependent on oil a major source of energy for heating transport and generation of power animal and vegetable oils are used for cooking and as a source of artificial light while mineral oil is used for a variety of other purposes mineral oil originates from the carcasses of tiny animals and plants that live in the sea over a period of time the ocean currents cover them with sand and silt as this matter hardens it turns into sedimentary rock shutting out oxygen and preventing the complete decomposition of the marine deposits underneath transforming it into crude oil the earth's crust is split into a few huge continental plates these move continuously like rafts on a sluggish tide this movement is called continental drift Question number two C mind mapping three marks read the given extract and complete the table that follows complete the mind mapping uh, frame given below using your own ideas fight against pandemic medical team precautions <coughs> enforcement personnel <coughs> question number two C ka answer hai fight against pandemic medical team doctors nurses enforcement personnel policemen government officials precautions wearing mask social distancing section second poetry section hai comprehension and appreciation question number 3 ka a hai read the extract and complete the activities given below 10 marks ab dekhiye isme do poem di jayegi ek comprehension ke liye aur ek appreciation ke liye 
the boat is lowered the boatman row and to the inchcape rock they go sir raf sir raf bent over from the boat and he cut the bell from the inchcape float down sang the bell with a gurgling sound the bubbles rose and burst around caught sir ral the next who comes to the rock one bless the abbot of aber prathak sir ral the rover sailed away he scoured the seas for many a day and now grown rich with plundered store he steers his course for scotland's shore so thick a haze o'er spreads the sky they cannot see the sun on high the wind hath blown a gale all day at evening it hath died away a one global understanding activity had two marks complete the following first the pirate asked his men to dash second that he then bent over and dash third he did so that he dash would no longer bless dash A two inference interpretation analysis activity had two marks. The poet gives hints to the reader about Ralph the Rover's future in the third stanza of the extract. Find the significant lines from the extract and give reasons for your answer. A three personal response two marks. Give your opinion of the following lines and explain their significance. Quote Sir Ralph the next who comes to the rock. Won't bless the abbot of Aber Brothok. A four poetic devices identify and explain the figures of his speech in the following: first, a gurgling sound; second, and to the inchcape rock they go. A five poetic gravity compose poetic creativity compose two to four lines with one of the following as the theme: remorse or regret. क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री के ए के आंसर्स है ए वन द पायरेट आस्ड हिज मैन टू रो हिम ओवर टू द इंच कैप बेल सेकेंड ही देन बेंट ओवर एंड कट द बेल फ्रॉम द बॉय थर्ड ही डिड दिस सो डैट द सीलियस ऑफ द नेक्स्ट शेप वुड नो लॉन्गर ब्लेस द एबर्ट फॉर प्लेसिंग द वार्निंग बेल ए टू द थर्ड स्टैंड ऑफ दिस एक्सट्रैक्टल्स अबाउट what the pirate did after removing the bell he roamed the seas and carried on his evil activities killing and looting the last line is the hint of what is to happen later he steers his course for scotland's shore the rover set the course course for scotland's shore this is significant because the treacherous inchcape rock was on the scottish shore so we get an idea that something may happen there a three answer hai the abbot had placed the bell for warning and saving people from the treacherous rocks this act had not only brought him fame but also the blessings of the many sailors who were saved but the pirate was jealous of the abbot's fame and so he cut the bell saying the words the next who comes to the rock one bless the abbot of ever brought hug these words reveal ralph's selfish and jealous nature when someone is concerned about the others they do not look for fame but a selfish person who is blinded by jealousy behaves foolishly and ultimately causes trouble for himself herself a four ka answer hai the figure of his speech is onomatopoeia the uh, the pronunciation of the word gurgling resembles the meaning the sound of an object sinking and bubbles rising and bursting with a gurgling sound second the figure of speech is inversion the order of the words has been changed for poetic effect the correct prose order is and they go to the inchcape rock if i can answer hai i regret i think of the harsh remark the careless action i threw i would not to repeat any more as i begin this day new b appreciation of the poem read the extract and write its appreciation for max a foot and light hearted i take to the open road healthy free the world before me 
the long brown path before me leading wherever i choose henceforth i ask not good fortune i myself i myself am good fortune henceforth i whimper no more postpone no more need nothing done with done with indoor complaints libraries querulous criticism strong and content i travel the open road the earth that is sufficient i do not want the constellations any nearer i know they are very well where they are i know they suffice for those who belong to them still here i carry my old delicious burdens i carry them men and women i carry them with me wherever i go i swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them i am filled with them and i will fill them in return you may use the following points to write the appreciation of the poem in 100 to 150 words about the poem poet and significance of the title the form and theme and its significance poetic style language features poetic devices used inspirational message values morals reflected in the poem special features your opinion and critical evaluation of the poem question number 3 b ka answer hai appreciation of the poem hai name of the poem is song of the open road song of the open road by american poet walt whitman is an extract from his book leaves of grass it is about optimism energy and confidence the road here signifies mobility and freedom the poem is in free verse this gave the poet great freedom in choosing words that convey the traveler's feelings more aptly there is no regular meter or rhyme scheme but there are many other poetic devices and figures of speech like repetition transfer deficit paradox and others whitman does not believe in staying in one place for long he tells us indirectly to be self confident and reliant and explore the world using our abilities and the available opportunities there should be no complaints criticisms or excuses for one's inaction the road in the poem does not mean only a road to travel it is a metaphor for the road of life along which we must travel happily leaving the past behind but not forgetting it i like the poem as it inspires me to be positive to go ahead in my life with interest and enthusiasm without complaints or expectations of help section 3 hai writing skills question number 4 complete the activities as per the instructions given below 16 marks a attempt of any one of the following four marks one hai drafting a virtual message rajat comes home from school and finds the door locked since he has a duplicate key he enters and finds a note from his mother kept on the table in its in it she explains that she had to rush to the hospital with mrs manohar the neighbor who had met with an accident she has also written that he should have the rice and curry kept on the dining table for lunch he could not heat the food in the microwave if he wanted to but he should be very careful while handling the switch draft the message which rajesh mother left for him iska answer hai question number 4 e1 ka answer hai 39 yani 30 september 11:30 am rajat mrs manohar has met with an accident i am rushing to hospital with her i have kept rice and curry on the dining table for your lunch heat it in the microwave if you want to but be careful while handling the switch mom or ye second hai statement of purpose you are an avid animal lover you have a pet dog and some love birds at home you are extremely fond of them you have been a member of a bird watchers club you have loved going on a safari you have taken care of orphan animals or animals who are hurt in school you loved biology 
you wish to make a career in the in this field the university of cambridge offers an excellent course program which would boost your career make a statement of purpose which will help you to get admission to this university question number 4 a2 ka answer hai statement of purpose i was captivated by the world of animals very early in my life there are of course many people around who love animals but i doubt whether they share the same intensity which i have i love animals of all sorts i care for animals big and small i love creatures that fly as much as those that crawl my parents have been quite supportive of my passion my collection of love birds and the pet dog which i have now uh, are their gifts i observe my pets as well as other animals around me with undiminishing curiosity their behavior fascinates me though biology has been my favorite subject all along i never knew that there are courses scattering to my specific need so your so your biology graduation course with focus on animal behavior is the one i would like to pursue i do realize that observation and study of animals demand infinite patience Many senior members of our bird watchers club usually appreciate my great patience. I also have an eye for detail. Each time I go for a safari, I notice something new. Each time there seems to be a re- revelation of some sort. To say that I love my pets would be just stating the obvious my love for animals goes beyond boundaries. Any animal suffering or struggling anywhere is my concern. There have been Umpteen cases where I took care of and tended orphan animals, but each case was unique, and every one of them is etched in my memory in its vivid detail. Though my interaction with animals has a long record, my theoretical knowledge about animals is not much to boast of. I have read the works of Nicholas Tinbergen. Conard Lorenz, Carl von Fritsch and Ivano Paolo all pioneers in the field of animals behavior nevertheless i know that a lot has been happening of late now i wish to learn the discipline in an organized way and your esteemed institution is the place for it i am hopeful that i will be able to contribute something significant to the field i love so much और ग्रुप डिस्कशन ये थर्ड है क्वेश्चन नंबर वन का रमा आसिफ अर्चना एंड आर आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन द एवेलुएटर हैज गिवन देम अ टॉपिक टीन एजर्स आर मोर इंक्लाइन टुवर्ड्स जंक फूड नाउ डेज राइट सुटेबल डायलॉग्स फॉर ईच पार्टिसिपेंट गिविंग हिज हर ओपिनियन ऑन द टॉपिक एवेलुएटर यू हैव ऑल बीन गिवन अ फ्यू मिनट्स टू थिंक on your topic for today's group discussion which is teenagers are more inclined towards junk food you may now begin the discussion who would like to start rama asif arav rachna evaluator please conclude arav question number 4 a3 ka answer hai Rama I think I will in my opinion it is very true junk food leads to obesity and we find more obese teenagers around nowadays as if I am afraid I can't agree with that statement most of the teenagers in our college look quite fit and active are I think we must see the issue in a wider perspective the inclination towards junk food among teenagers is a worldwide phenomenon one can't jump to a conclusion by just looking around and citing a few examples in our college rashna it seems to me that rama made a valid point teenagers world over are inclined towards junk food and it poses a great threat to their health i suggest the teenagers change their food habits and resort more to healthy snacks 
Our tradition offers a wide variety of snacks, such as snacks. Evaluator, please conclude. Our, uh, we can conclude by saying that our teenagers are inclined towards inclined towards junk food. They must change their food habits. It is high time they switched to healthy snacks. We need healthy citizens to take our country forward. Thank you. Question number 4. B. Attempt any one of the following. 4 marks. First, I email. Write an email in the proper format to a friend who has moved from his her village to the city and is finding it difficult to cope with his her changed life. Suggest says for ways for him to open himself, herself and to adjust in a better way to the situation. Answer hai question number B. One ka answer hai to Ankit PP about xyz mail.com. Subject Welcome to Mumbai. Dear Ankit, hi there, how are you? I heard from Sumit yesterday that you have moved to Mumbai for your, for your education and are staying with your uncle and aunt. Ankit, Sumit also mentioned that you were finding it difficult to adjust to Mumbai. That is natural. I know that the crowds and noise here are terrible compared to your village. Believe me, you will soon get used to it. Just think of the opportunities you are getting. I know you will may you will handle the studies very well. What you may find a bit difficult to is adjusting to the boys and girls around you. Try to find uh, intelligent and serious students like you in your class. Hang out with them. Go with them occasionally to the canteen and to the movies. Laugh and talk with them. But and I don't have to tell you this don't compromise on your studies and don't develop any bad habits i too boy i too have boys in my friend circle who have come from small towns and villages so i know exactly how you feel feel free to contact me anytime you wish to or if you need any help give me regards to your aunt and uncle why for now you are loving friend X Y Z or a report writing a B2 ka hai prepare a report for your college magazine on the noble activities of the social service group you have visited use the points given below activities of the group number of students who visited date of the visit any other details question number four ka B2 ka answer hai Shitij truly a noble group. Ekta Hegde CR, a first year junior college commerce. Home, Mumbai, November 19th. On the 16th of this month, 10 students from the FYJC commerce section of our college visited the offices of Shitij, a social service group. We met Mr. Palkar, the secretary of the group, who gave us this information. Shitij has three main activities. The first is distribution of clothes to the poor people in the drought ridden or backward areas of Thane district. The collection of clothes from donors is done on every Sunday throughout the year at specific centers. The contribution of the clothes is done four times a year. The second activity is arranging entertainment programs for orphanages and homes for senior citizens. In and around Mumbai and Thane, these programs are generally held on specific days like Children's Day, Mother's Day, etc. The third major activity is called a literacy program for children and adults. Enrollment for this program is open for anyone who wishes to read, write and speak in English or Marathi. Classes are conducted in specific areas three times a week throughout the year. Volunteers and helping hands are always welcome, said Mr. Palkar. All that we ask is sincerely and serious commitment. For further information, you can go through our website. We were impressed by the attention given to minute details and the consciousness of all those who were present there. Our best wishes to all of them are 
थर्ड है इंटरव्यू ये बी थ्री है यू इंटेंट इट यू इंटेंट टू नो अबाउट अ फार्मर हु लिवज इन अ पावर्टी स्ट्रिक एंड रीजन फ्रेम अ सेट ऑफ एटलीस्ट एट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टेकिंग हिज हर इंटरव्यू यू मे इंक्लूड द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट हिज हर नेचर ऑफ वर्क प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम सोसाइटी एंड द गवर्नमेंट हिज हर मैसेज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर बी थ्री आंसर है नमस्ते जी प्लीज स्पेट सम टाइम टू आंसर अ फ्यूम ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी मेम्बर्स आर देर इन योर फैमिली सेकेंड डज एनी वन इन योर फैमिली हैव एनी अदर ऑक्यूपेशन बिसाइड्स फार्मिंग थर्ड वाट आर द क्राफ्ट यू ग्रो फोर्थ फ्राम वेर डू यू गेट यूर सप्लाईज ऑफ सीड्स फर्टिलाइजर्स इंसेक्टिसाइड्स एक्सेट्रा फिफ्थ है डू यू गेट एनी गवर्नमेंट हेल्प इन दिस प्लीज टेल अस इन डिटेल सिक्स वाट आर द प्रॉब्लम यू फेस सेवेंथ हाउ डू यू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम एट वाट एग्जैक्टली डू यू एक्सेप्ट एक्सपेक्ट द सोसाइटी एंड गवर्नमेंट टू डू फॉर यू नाइन्थ is there any message you would like to give to the people in urban areas or others who are not farmers thank you sir i wish you all the best for a wonderful harvest question number 4 c attempt any one of the following four marks first a speech writing write a short speech in about 100 to 150 words to be a daily word in your college on tree conservation on the occasion of the world earth day with the help of the following points air water and noise pollution depletion of natural resources trees trees prevent soil erosion live in harmony with nature question number 4 c1 ka answer hai tree conservation honorable principal respected teachers and my dear friends today on the occasion of the world earth day I X Y Z would like to say a few words on tree conservation. One of the chief causes of environmental degradation is deforestation. Today trees are being felled and forest land is being used for agriculture and housing. However, this practice should be stopped with immediate effect as we all know the importance of trees. Well, trees reduce air pollution by absorbing some of the polluting gases. They also act as a shield or barrier to protect us from excessive noise the roots of trees hold the soil together thus is stopping soil erosion trees help to attract the rain clouds thus increasing precipitation precipitation in addition to all this trees give us innumerable products right from fruits and medicines to wood and paper I would like to end my speech by repeating that we human beings are the main culprits in the degradation of the environment and we must make it a point to live in harmony with nature thank you or c2 hai comparing comparing yani nizamat nizamat comparing yani ye anchoring karna hai kisi ek program mein koi anchoring karte hai to uska schedule kaisa taiyar karenge us bare mein Imagine that you are a compare for the teachers day function in your college write a script for the same you can take the help of the following points first introduction a brief introduction of the program function show second welcome speech third lighting the lamp fourth welcome song fifth main events sixth vote of thanks question number c2 ka answer hai introduction Good morning to all present here today on this extremely special occasion Teachers Day celebrations I am Archana Dikshit the cultural secretary I welcome all of you and hope that you will enjoy the short program we have planned I request Anuj Govilkar the secretary of our literary club to start the program with a grand welcome welcome speech by Anuj second lighting the lamp Thank you Anuj for your moving speech I now request our principal to please light the lamp along with our GS Rohan Shetty lighting up the lamp Thank you everyone now we will proceed with the program third welcome song we have decided to keep it light and entertaining and the first item is a group song medley by the college music team sitare for skit a big thanks and a huge round of applause for our music team 
Thank you for your wonderful performance. Now we go on to the next item, a skit title then and now. Showcasing the actions and behavior of students and teachers in the bygone days and today. Fifth dance that was both interesting and humorous, wasn't it? A big round of applause for our actors. Thank you. Let us now welcome our college dance group troupe gyrations who will entertain you with a mind-blowing synchronized dance item. So please put up, put your hands together for our college team gyrations. Sixth vote of thanks. That was indeed beautiful. We are now at the end of our short program which I hope our beloved teachers have enjoyed. To conclude, I invite our treasure, Minita Shah, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you, one and all. Our C3 expansion of an idea. Expand the following idea in about 100 to 150 words with the help of the points given below. Where there is a will, there is a way. Meaning of the word will, examples from history, any other points. Question number three C three का answer है. Question number four C three का answer है. Where there is a will, there is a way. If we have a strong will or determination, we will generally succeed and get what we want in life. This is especially true when we face setbacks or come across obstacles in life. If we give up easily, we will never reach our goal. History is full of examples of those who have succeeded because, their, because of their determination. Hillary and Tenzing conquered the Mount Everest. After many initial attempts, they were determined to do so and did not give up in spite of setbacks and failures. Marie Curie went through great problems and difficulties while performing the experiments to discover radium. Yet, she did not give up. Sudha Chandran was determined to dance again in spite of an accident which left her with an artificial leg. We obtained inter independence from the British merely because of our written mind and concentrated efforts. If we had given up, we would have still been the slaves of Great Britain. Thus, whenever things are difficult and we feel like giving up, we must remember that these great examples and work hard and determine, determine, determinedly to achieve our goal. Question number four D. Hey, attempt any one of the following four marks. First, hey, film review. Write a review of a film you have sir, recently seen based on any four of the following points name of the characters, main and supporting roles. Second, about the story theme of the film, special features, novelties. Novel ideas, music, dance, songs, actions, direction. Why do you like not like the film? Should others watch this film? Would you recommend it to your friends? Why? Question number four D1 ka answer hai. Review of the film Mission Mangal. Released on Independence Day 2019, Mission Mangal is a film based on the real scientist of ISRO who contributed to India's first interplanetary mission expedition. Mars Orbiter Mission Mom. A team of Indian scientists at ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, take on, on the apparently impossible task of successfully sending a satellite into the orbit of planet Mars. In India's maiden attempt, the film highlights their problems and their successes and narrates the story in a way in which ordinary audiences and even children will understand a little of the complex scientific experiment. In other words, the film takes complex scientific jargon and simplifies it for the common man. The main characters are Akshay Kumar and Vidya Balan in the lead, supported by Sonakshi Sinha, Tapsi Panno, Kirti Kulhari, Nithya Menon and Sherman Joshi. The location is for the most part the interior of a laboratory supposedly in ISRO. It is an extremely patriotic feel-good film with the message that Indians can make almost impossible dreams come true if they put their hearts and souls into it. There are moments of drama to please the audience 
Overall, the acting has been good, especially that of the lead pair Akshay and Vidya Balan. A film worth watching, giving us a chance to cheer the Indian scientist. Or two, hai blog writing. Write a blog in a proper format on environmental pollution in about 100 to 150 words with the help of the points given below. Pollution due to crop burning industries, vehicles, diseases related to pollution, suggestions. Question number 4, D2 ka answer hai, finding it difficult to breathe. No doubt the issue of environmental pollution is a well-flogged horse. However, this has to be discussed repeatedly so that people do not forget about it. I will only talk about air pollution here. It was terrifying to read about the poor air quality index in New Delhi due to crop burning by the farmers in nearby areas. New Delhi is our capital city. If they cannot control the air pollution there, what about the rest of the country? Mumbai has, has for long been talking about pollution due to industries located in the suburbs. Burning of plastic and other waste in the dumping grounds, there is a vehicular pollution. Can't this all be monitored, controlled? Can't the people responsible be punished? It is not difficult, I suppose, for the Sarpanch of the village to find out which farmer is burning his old crops and pull him up. It is not difficult to find out the polluting industries. We have enough mind power to monitor all this and control it. But is there the will to do it or is it still the chalta hai attitude which will lead more and more people to suffer from asthma and other respiratory diseases? Or a third hai appeal. Imagine that your town village is facing a flood situation Write an appeal in the form of a poster seeking help from the people in your area with the help of the points given below. The sorry state of survivors in makeshift camps, fears of epidemics, clothes, food, medicines required, doctors, nurses, etc. required. Question number 4, D3. Answer hai SOS. Save our souls. There are 392 survivors in makeshift camps on the Nagra Hills. Most of them have lost their near and dear relatives. They need intensive physical care and emotional support. Food, clothing, medicine urgently required. Services of doctors and nurses urgently needed. There is a serious threat of epidemics such as diarrhea and cholera. The municipal corporation has asked for volunteers to help clean the city. Cleaning the city is an urgent need to prevent epidemics. Contact 2467-3312, 2458-1231, Section 4 Literary Genre Novel Question number 5 ka A hai. Answer the following questions. 16 marks ke liye hai literary genre or question number 5 ka A hai 4 marks. First, write if the following statements are true or false. Correct the statements that are false and rewrite them. First, character describes the behavior of the characters in the story. Second, the main character in the story is referred to as the novella. Third, the struggle between the positive forces in the story is called antagonism. Fourth, the theme is the, the, theme is the central idea in the novel which can be expressed in a nutshell. Question number 5, aka A1 ke answer hai, first ka hai true, second false, third false, fourth true. Corrected statements have, second statement hai, the main character in the story is referred to as the protagonist. Third, the struggle between the opposite forces in the story is called conflict. Two hai, choose the correct answer from the box given below which define the elements of a novel, conflict, Character, theme, setting, style, novella, behavior. First, the language had techniques used by the author for his narration, dash. Second, the central idea in the poem is a dash. Third, the struggle between the opposite forces, dash. Fourth, the background in which the story takes place, dash. 
इसके आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का ए टू द लैंग्वेज एंड टेक्निक्स यूज बाय द ऑथर फॉर हिज नरेशन इज स्टाइल सेकेंड द सेंट्रल आइडिया इन द नावल इज थीम थर्ड द स्ट्रगल बिटवीन द अपोजिट फोर्सेज इज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फोर्थ है द बैकग्राउंड इन विच द स्टोरी टेक्स प्लेस इज सेटिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर का बी है आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन अबाउट फिफ्टी वर्ड्स ईच फोर मार्क्स कंपेयर द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ मिस जोजेफ एंड डेन हैम इसका आंसर है क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव बी वन का आंसर है मिस जोजेफ एंड डेन हैम आर बोथ बिजनेस लाइक एंड एफिशियंट फॉर अलोकेटिंग टास्क एंड फिटिंग इन द प्रोग्राम दे आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफिशियल्स फॉर द फंक्शन एंड सिट कॉन्फिडेंटली बिसाइड मिस्टर फ्लोरियन ऑन द स्टेज बोथ एड्रेस द ऑडियंस विद कॉन्फिडेंस हाउर डेन हैम इज ब्लंट क्रिटिकल एंड आर्ग्यूमेंटिव आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव वाइल डिस्कसिंग द पी टी एक्सरसाइजेज दैट एवरी वन हैज टू डू इन स्कूल ही आर्ग्यूज विद मिस फेलिप्स बट वैन मिस फिलिप्स Presently and coolly puts him in his place, and he graciously accepts defeat. He is also courteous in his dealing with the ladies. Second, I interpret the meaning of the statement. Miss Phillips is transformed into a very convincing personality. Question number five, the B two ka answer hai. Miss Phillips is a earlier considered as frilly and brainless, but she was the best. In form of the three teachers on the stage, she intervened skillfully when the other two characters were at a loss. Without embarrassing them, she spoke coolly, honestly, and with authority. When Denham is blunt, critical, and argumentative, while discussing the PT exercises, she explains to him the reason behind the his exercises, putting him in. The, in his place every coolly and pleasantly thus the teacher who was considered brainless is transformed into a very convincing personality at the end c hai answer the following questions is in about 50 words each for marks first hai discuss the central idea of the given extract of the novel around the world in 80 days question number 5 c1 ka answer hai The central idea of the given extract is how fog ultimately wins the bet, even though there are unexpected delays and missed trains. He had unknowingly gained a day, a day when crossing the international date line, and hence he was still in time to meet the meet the deadline. The final statement is that love and its attainment. is more important than all the challenges and money in the world question number 4 ke c2 hai narrate any two exciting incidents in the extract question number 5 c ka c2 ka answer hai an exciting incident was when pesce part out on reaching the clergyman's house discovers that it is not sunday as they had thought about saturday and there was a chance that chance that they could still win the wager another very exciting incident was fox reaching the reform club at the last moment and winning the wager all the twists and turns and the climax at the end keeps the reader glued to the novel right till the end question number 5 ka d hai answer the following questions in about 50 words each Four marks. First, I discuss the importance of the following statement in the light of the extract. The trio Holmes, Watson, and Mary decides to visit Lyceum Theatre. Question number five D one है इसका आंसर है Mary. Mary had received an anonymous letter asking her to be outside the Lyceum Theatre on a particular night at. Seven o'clock. The letter said that it would be to Mary's advantage if she came. The letter also mentioned that she could bring two friends with her. However, she did not have any friends who could accompany accompany her, and so she asked Holmes and Watson if they could not. If they could do so, they agreed. Hence, 
Holmes, Dr. Watson, and Mary decided to visit Lyceum Theater. This was the first step to solving the cases. Second, I interpret the following line in the light of the novel exact, the sign of four. Our quest does not appear to take us to very fashionable regions. Question number five, D2 ka answer hai. These words are said by Holmes to Watson and Mary Marston when they are being driven by the coachman to some strange place. They were going through narrow streets in an unfriendly and grim neighborhood which had dull brick, brick rows of the houses and cheap and showy public houses at the corner. Holmes mentioned that this was not a very fashionable or rich neighborhood. Umeed, aapko hamara video pasand aaya hoga. Agle video mein dobara mulaqat hoogi. Khuda hafiz.